two, one. Marshmallow Fanboy back with another review, this time of Princess Leia Organa in her boosh disguise from Return of the Jedi. This is a blowout deal at Ross. It's a five ninety nine figure and it's it's pretty thrashed. The the packaging is, is really thrashed and just totally um just not mint. It's very very thrashed. But it's an archive figure I don't have. I don't have most of the archive figures because I did have the original figures. And I understand that the, the paint apps are better, that the likenesses have been retooled, and that they're better. And for all I know, there's an extra a part or something in there with it. And that's cool too. But I just, I'm not getting the archive figures just for repaints and for a better articulation or, well, not better articulation, but better paint apps and things like that but I thought for six dollars I couldn't pass it up now originally I was just in Ross because I heard that there were a ton of G.I. Joe figures in there and I thought I would love to get some army builders and maybe some extra uh, figures that maybe I don't have to open I could open some of the thrash packages on the Ross shelves but it was not to be I didn't find a single single G.I. Joe and this was the only Star Wars figure I could find was this figure so I picked it up, and I don't regret picking it up. I think it's a really cool-looking figure. So let's open this thing up, and let's take a closer look at Princess Leia Organa and her Boosh disguise. Now that Boosh is out of the package, let's take a closer look at this hated-slash-loved character. Admit it, when you first saw... This bounty hunter walk in with Chewbacca on a chain. You instantly hated this dude. You're like, oh man, I hope he dies. And then he took his helmet off and it was Princess Leia. And you thought, oh, I don't I don't want to see this person get killed at all. This comes with the, I don't know what this is called. Um, just never got to use it. Uh, some sort of staff weapon or I don't know if this would have discharged anything or done anything it's just a weird staff also she came with a thermal detonator that i couldn't get her to hold it has a hole in it and there's a i think green goblin had a post in his hand where he could you could plug the the pumpkin bomb into but she doesn't have a hole in her palm or anything there's no way to hold that the thermal detonator because she's only got the kind of the one thumb around it it doesn't really hold it so i put it on the belt here and this is super difficult to see but i'll do my best Let's see there you go and oh this is very tiny hard to see it does have some details on it, it has some paint hits it's gray like the staff is, but it it has hits of silver. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Get a little silver on there. Very cool. The helmet, I don't know if there's a, a real difference between the last helmet and this helmet. I was uh, too lazy to get the other figure out. But it's really nicely detailed. It's a little green above here and the just really nice. And it fits perfect right over her head. I think that the worry that I had when I put the helmet on is taking her head off with the helmet and her head being stuck inside the helmet. But I didn't have to worry about that. So she's got the really nice Really nice facial makeup. I think maybe it's. It looks like Carrie Fisher. It has a really nice likeness. I don't know about the the blush. I don't know if she really sort of wore any kind of makeup. But see, there's uh, maybe like a rebreather, something that goes to her helmet. The cape just drapes back over itself naturally, but it's not. 
is kind of sewn into this strap. It's attached to the strap on her uniform. The backpack is independent. It came uh, without the backpack on. And this just sort of flops over naturally. It goes like this. And then boom. Just falls over. Which is very cool. It's got pouches on here. Pouches on here. A nice paint hit. On whatever these are. Maybe there's a there's a cartridge missing on the on the strap, so maybe that cartridge is inside the whatever whatever this is. I don't know. It's just a really nice figure. It's a really nice likeness of Carrie Fisher. It's really nice of the of the bounty hunter, the hair tied in the back in the movie. It's just really nice and the colors are really nice too. It's just a really nice figure. So let's go over the articulation. Pretty good head up. Really good head down. Uh, a little side to side. You're not going to get much. Pretty good wingspan. Single elbow with an elbow swivel. Wrist hinge, wrist swivel, mid torso rocker. This part here is really stiff, so it's hard to get the legs out a little bit. But it's regular ball pointed legs under there. There is a thigh swivel, but you can't see it because the, the. Oh, there it is. You know, you can see it. Thigh swivel. Double knees, ankle hinge, and ankle rocker. And that is Princess Leia Organa as Boosh from Return of the Jedi. It's a really good figure. It's a figure that you have to have for your collection. And it, it was a fun figure to, to mess around with today. Sorry, there's a weird shadow on her leg that's driving me nuts. There we go. It was fun taking her out. I was I'm glad that I made the purchase at Ross. It was only six dollars. And that seems like a, a good price for a figure that I already have. If they were all six dollars, I would re replace uh, uh anything that had a new paint app or, or new new likeness, new better likeness. But that's it for me. So if you are at your Ross, look out. These figures are out there. So until next time, enjoy your toys.